today is we are going uh, to learn how can you use your join or how can you create your joins and uh, with chaining chaining method so i am also explain what is the chaining method uh, if you are working on query builder so first of all i am going to talk about chaining method so go to your controller so you are calling my like function or my like method you can see okay you have you are doing this so first of all what is chaining method you are calling this db like and again this db so why you are repeating this db this db this db again and again so this is the problem uh, this is very simple uh, queries if you are working if you are working on a, a project and uh, you are using more than 10 joins with uh, select static select from like where or so why you can use this db again and again this the chaining method is you have to specify first this db like then you don't need to add again okay you can add your object get and your class so you don't need to add this db again and again so what you need you just need to return this return this for example i'm i'm going to create a chaining method chaining now what i need i'm just saying this db uh, select now i am saying select id username and age okay now i am saying from users i am saying where id sorry where id 1 get okay so in this way you can create your chaining or uh, you can r reduce your this db by calling this you can return this okay return you always return this okay you are using select from where if you are adding more than one where or i'm saying or where for suppose it takes two parameter similar to above id and uh, where where the id is three okay so now what you need go to your model i'm just copying and pasting and i'm commenting this now we have just created a method named chaining and we are not going to pass anything here so this is your results war dump and i have to say that result go to your controller refresh the page you can say okay it's not working where is the error we forgot semicolon refresh the page now now you can say it's working fine it's fetching the results where the id is three because id is one is not exist you are saying where id is one or three go to your table refresh the table you can see id is not existed that's why it's fetching three so in this way you can create your chaining so i'm going to explain how can you use your joins we have only a single table so that's why uh, <laughs> i cannot use join but uh, i am just going to tell how can you use join first of all this is joining my joins for suppose so in this time for suppose if we have a table name post so here you can see 
we have a table name host okay so columns are uh, for suppose pid means post id post and uh, you can user id so uh, this is the foreign key okay you know very well about it okay for suppose we have host table and we have three fields column so pid post and user id so how can you create the joins first of all i'm saying this db and i'm saying select how many columns you want to retrieve for suppose i'm saying asterisk from both table and now i am chaining here from in this time i am saying users okay now i am going to use the join method it takes two parameters first of all your table name i am saying join with post then i am saying where is the where where the users dot id equals to post dot user id you can see we have a post user id oh sorry user id so i am saying get so it will give you the results so okay so if you are using left join just pass left in the third parameter if you are using the right join just pass right in the third parameters okay if you want to add where class you can add where class here or after the join for suppose uh, where id equals to 3 okay if you want to add or where so you can use or where here or if if you want to use another air that means you are saying where you are adding and sign here that means okay so in this way you can create your joins so uh, you can create your left outer join by passing uh, the third parameter left or you can use the uh, right outer join by passing the right uh, you can also use the full for full join okay so by default uh, it's written so by default it's not uh, receiving the third parameter you can uh, always pass third parameter if you want to receive left join right join or full join so uh, i think this is enough for today and we have covered a lot of things these things are necessary for our course we have uh, created our model we have we are working on home controller of course because we have created our home controller and uh, how many topics we have covered inside our query builder so go to your database query builder and uh, you can see we have covered get and uh, how can you fetch the results i have told you you can use the result as an object by calling the results or if you want to uh, use the associative array or if you want to fetch the data in the form of associative array you can use the result underscore array as well okay we have learned the get where and we have learned the select statement and we have learned the uh, aggregation and select min max we have learned from we have learned join we have learned where class and uh, we have also learned or where you can also use where in uh, you can also use where not n uh, we have learned the like we have also learned or like you can also use the not like not or not like group by you can also use the group by distinct you can use the distinct as well you can use the having or you can use the order by order by class so if you are working how can you use the order by class i'm going to tell you just use order by you can specify the id for suppose id asc ascending dsc descending or i think uh, uh, another is rand so where is the rand random of, of course random you can pass the random here so it's totally depend upon you you can use the order by clouds also and uh, limit you can specify the limit uh, how many rows you want to retrieve for suppose uh, i want to say that limit please give me that 10 rows only okay so you can use uh, your limit like this 
and uh, grouping how can you use group ignore this because this is the advanced topic and uh, how can you insert we learn how can we insert we learn also uh, how can we insert batch we also learn how can we update the data update batch also and uh, of course we also learn the delete data how can you delete the data and uh, we learn the method chaining how can you use the chaining method and uh, we learn the result query and they have uh, the documentation of class references so we have we learn a lot of things inside the query builder so what we need we just need to move further and in the next lecture i am going to explain how can you create the sign up system first of all and uh, because uh, i have already create uh, i have already created a series which is the sign up systems in coding nighter make sure uh, i am going to uh, i am going to fetch all the lectures from that series then we will move further so thank you for watching